What's going on YouTube? It is Flashback here. We are in Create Craft, uh, series I'm bringing back from back in the day. You see me here laying down a foundation. Today we are going to be building a, I'm gonna call it a modern cabin. It's something I did back in, back when Create Craft first came out, but this time I'm a little more confident in my ability to actually accomplish this. So here we go. You see me starting on the front walls here. This will go a little faster. And at the end I'll probably have a a preview of the build afterwards from uh, ground view. I'm, I'm not going to be doing any interior work, just just exterior this time. I might do interior later, but this is obviously going to be the first building of this entire area. And here you see me going ahead and starting the second wall. You see me trying a bunch of things here, including a larger curve out, but I do eventually decide here, right here, I probably decide to take it back down. I just go for a small little bay window down there and go ahead and bring the rest out flat. It makes it a lot more modern. It's one thing in modern you want uh, pretty much straight lines, tall windows, tall ceilings. And from there, it's pretty easy to get modern. And you see me here moving the front end up a little farther than I originally had it just so I could fit a single window in there. Mm. Kind of playing around a little bit with a couple ways to add depth. See me trying leaves out. I do eventually go with leaves, but I decide to put them against the building. And then you see me put a couple of ponds here in the front. And I think it really does add a lot to the to the house itself. Now a lot of this entire thing, this is the right side of the front. A lot of this entire build is just me going off wild tangents, trying a bunch of things because. I'm not really big on making modern houses. I don't do it very often, so I'm not really wonderful at it. But here I go trying to go ahead and accomplish it. And one of the best ways to make a house look good is to add uh, a detail. So you want a little bit of depth. So glass panes help a lot with depth, but the best thing you can do is just add a little bit around the house. Now if you're working with a house, best thing to do is just add some hedges around the foundation. If if you can't do that, do what I do on this on a lot of these sides and just jut out a little bit and add a larger wall. Just a lot of times, just a small bay window will help. Now I do completely redo this entire back end right here. Decided to go with uh, stone brick slabs. It makes it look a little better, but I do keep the hedges going around it. Testing, testing out a little bit with the roof. I decided not to go with the stone brick slabs for now. I will eventually put them all the way around the rim. And here I'm just putting a little detail around the sides. That way it doesn't look so blah. And here, let's see, we have the front. I believe I'm going to start. Yep, I'm starting to try and figure out what I want to do with the ceiling. I will eventually completely undo everything I do here. There it is, I'm making it all wood plank. Now the thing is, you see me here, I'm trying to make it a little, add a little more detail to it, and I decided to just turn the whole thing sideways and make it slope up towards the top. Now the toughest part of this was trying to actually make the windows fit properly, which I did eventually figure out how to do, but it took a little bit of work, especially over there on the right side where all the, uh, curve is. It's really hard to make it work properly on a curve, but I was able to get it done. Alright, so from here I'm just working on all the windows, the read on the front a little bit because I didn't have it quite high enough, and from here we're gonna go around back after we get this roof done. We're gonna go around back and I, I decided to go and do a pond. Come on Caleb, get that freaking roof done. I'm so slow. Gotta come around. Gotta, oh yeah, I gotta get on the stone brick slabs on here. The final touches on the front, which I do put a second pond on the right side and I put a fountain on each side, which it does get dark here, so I do apologize for that. I believe I fix it now. Yep. And I will show you those uh, fountains a little better close up here shortly when I do the full tutorial I'm probably gonna add a little more uh, detail around those fountains make them look a little better and here I am doing the pond slash lake in the back whatever you want to call it and I do mess up a couple of times huge like right I decide to expand a little bit and then I do this so I end up having to undo everything and drain it all and then start over from the original pond 
and there we go. I had to look up the command for drain, but I finally found it, and I just do it from there. And I add a little bit of detail around the pond, replace some of the grass that was missing there. 